President Biden. President Biden on his first Middle East trip as president, reaffirming the U.S.-Israeli partnership. You have an ironclad commitment from the United States of America to Israel's security. Security from a nuclear Iran taking center stage here. The two sides agreeing on the threat with a joint declaration keeping Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon, but differing in their approach. I continue to believe that diplomacy is the best way to achieve this outcome. Words will not stop them, Mr. President. Diplomacy will not stop them. The only thing that will stop Iran is knowing that if they continue to develop their nuclear program, the free world will use force. Something the president agreed to should diplomacy fail. That was the last resort, yes. Biden hoping Iran will rejoin the 2015 nuclear deal, but saying he won't wait forever, and hoping to get Saudi Arabia on board during his visit there tomorrow. Meeting with Saudi's de facto ruler, Mohammed bin Salman, also to encourage more oil production under pressure at home to bring down gas prices. A thorny issue with the president branding the kingdom a pariah, blaming MBS for human rights abuses, including the 2018 murder of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi. My views on Khashoggi have made been absolutely, positively clear. Biden accused of putting U.S. values aside as he seeks U.S. interests. In Washington, Susan McGinnis, NBC News.